Do you have a second? Of course. Is there any way to get a spare key for the outside bathroom? Sure. Why? Because every time I use the bathroom, it seems that somebody else has used it and not cleaned up after themselves. If you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Um, are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, I mean, just a memo okay. or something. I mean, if you just... don't mind. I don't mind. It bothers me very much, though. If you could just ask for a spare key, and then maybe when people have to use the bathroom bathroom, they can use the outside bathroom. Oh, you want everyone else to use the outside bathroom? When they have to use the bathroom bathroom. Okay, okay. I see. Um, maybe ask Claire to put a memo out so people understand. They're not cleaning up after themselves in there. Okay, well, I can put out a memo that says something like, what am I supposed to write in the subject line of this memo? You know what? Never mind. I will, I'll post a sign. I'll post a sign. Okay, okay. well, I'll, I mean, I can, I can look into it and see what's going on. Okay, yeah, if you could just, but maybe just put the request in for the spare and I will post a sign. I will do my part. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Check the bathroom, please. Can I check the bathroom? Yeah, I don't want to go in there. Ralph was in there for 20 minutes. The magazine rack is right in front of the toilet. Like, I don't know that he's using the bathroom bathroom. So I don't want to go in there and be caught off guard. I have a very sensitive gag reflex. You want me to go in and check the bathroom? For please, you? yes. Okay. I went in, I looked around, everything seems to be okay to me. I don't, I don't see a problem. I think it's safe. Okay. He left the magazine rack, so I'm not like, but usually it's not. So if we had the spare key, this would not be happening. A sale this week. Congratulations. I did, That's great. Thanks. You know what? I'm sick. <laughs> oh. You guys should try more vitamin C. Yeah, well, I've been trying. I got, uh, yeah, I got extra in my. Thanks. everybody for joining us today for this meeting. I think uh, we have Stephanie from corporate joining us via telephone. Stephanie, are you there? I'm here. Okay, great. I guess we can start then. I'll try to make this quick. But uh, we have an issue that has come to my attention that has forced this intervention and it's actually a fairly serious issue of personal hygiene. So uh, I'm going to draw a diagram to help us work through this together. Okay. Okay. Uh, generally 
speaking, what we want when we exit the bathroom is something that resembles diagram A. Okay? Mark it, please, so they're clear. Okay, this, for the sake of clarity, is diagram A, and just so that no one's confused, this is diagram B. Stephanie, she's drawn two toilet seats on the wipe away board. Okay. Now, this is what we're striving for. Yes. The problem that we've been facing recently, which has been brought to my attention on more than one occasion, is, and bear with me here a moment. that when some employees are exiting the bathroom, unfortunately, <laughs> this is what is left behind. I'm sure we can all understand why this is not either acceptable or desirable. Yes, Ralph? What, what is that? That is remnants, Ralph. Remnants. In okay. the toilet okay. seat. Okay. When some employees are exiting the bathroom, uh -huh. apparently they are not necessarily cleaning up after themselves, and the toilet bowl resembles more diagram B so it, than it does diagram A. So there's dirt in the toilet bowls or something? People leaving dirt? Do you not look when you use the bathroom? After you flush, you should check because you almost always leave something there. <laughs> But that's the, that's just that that's, that that happens. Though. No, that's it doesn't natural. just happen. Okay, it yeah, doesn't happen after thirty-two percent of the employees that use the bathroom, but after certain percentage of people and employees that use it do leave certain things in the toilet, okay. and then well, somebody else is left to come and be met with. Okay, guys. All that refuse. we're looking for is that when we use the bathroom, that we keep in mind the comfort and cleanliness of everyone who has to share the facilities. So when we leave the bathroom, we would like to keep in mind diagram A, and if we see diagram B going on, we take steps to clean up after ourselves. But, but how? I'm supposed to reach into the toilet and wipe it down? No, I you mean, just flush twice. A flush? Apparently, you need to flush twice. But that's, that's wasteful. I mean, if it doesn't go down the first time, it doesn't go down. What are you eating? OK, Jim. My wife makes a lot of cheese-based foods, but I, I really don't think that's me. I, 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 you're the one that's always eating wheat in the morning. Okay, God. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not trying to assign blame in this situation. All I'm doing is bringing it to everyone's attention and counting that each person is going to have personal responsibility for themselves and their actions in the bathroom. So I'm not blaming you or the cheese-based products or wheat or whatever everyone's doing on their own is fine. I'm just bringing it to everyone's attention so that we can take care of it. We don't need to know what you had for breakfast. So just take care of it. So then when the next person comes in, you're not the only person on the planet here who has to use the bathroom. They aren't met with your poor judgment. Or anything else. I'm really sorry that we have to do this. But you see what you did to this poor guy? You know what? Just flush no. the toilet You see twice. what you did to this no, poor guy? This no, to you do with it. are well, you're oh, you're damaging one yourself, man. Just like you're you're trying to get Absolutely. a hold Stephanie, of Stephanie, shut up. Okay, you, okay, okay. Just flush twice. Okay, no, you know enough. what? I don't have to listen to this anymore. I, I'm going to HR. I, that's you it. Go I'm HR. going to HR. You go to HR, and I will call Bob next week, and you will have a memo on your desk about taking care of your bathroom habits. Well, I will be calling my lawyer next week, and you will be in court next week. Now, I'll tell y'all, that's something even I never figured on. And I've been following this real close. This is exactly what I thought would happen. It's typical. People don't want to take care of themselves. It's become an issue, and frankly, I, I cannot stand for it. Stop Can crying. Can I just bring one issue? What? We live in California. I mean, look, most toilets here can't handle man-sized poo. Well, he raises a valid issue, which I think is why, on some occasions, we just have to flush twice. Not all the time, mind you, I'm not advocating wasting water or resources, which are valuable to us and the state of California, but <clears throat> on that occasion when, in our own personal judgment, we deem it necessary, we just have to flush twice.
Crazy, like really intense. Big up. That's not. No, that was perfect. So unreal. Okay. That was perfect. Fine. Right. <laughs> I'm slightly embarrassed, but at the same time, you know, what do you think he thought when he was making traffic? He was probably like, "This is such a stupid movie," but right? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. taken care of it. Let's just hope so. For everyone involved, let's just hope so. <laughs> what is funny about that? I think I've said my piece. I don't want 